It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out of my mind. It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. I'm putting you out, it's trash day, I'm putting you out of my mind. Now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up the house. Taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage. <coughs> we may not be the man that saves, or horrible announcers like Corey Graves. We are the garbage men that jeer, that talk the smack and drink the beer. We are the sunshine ray, because it's Can Crusher. Day. And welcome to another edition of Can Crushers, Mark Martinez, Paul Bullers, two everyday garbage men that are drinking beer, trying to stay warm, talking wrestling. We are doing horrible at staying warm. We are. We both have tossle caps on We're right wearing now. sweatpants. I, you know I'm cold because I got a sweatshirt on and a tossle cap in a house. Right? It's kind of windy in here. I have to check stuff out after we got doing this. <laughs> Maybe I need to uh, put some stuff over the windows because it's cold, Paul. I can't believe how cold it was today. I hope everybody's staying warm. And now you've got us to warm up your ear holes. <laughs> oh. You got a little Mexican in your ear now. How do you like that? Hey, shout out to Creative Cup. Thank you for the coffees. Yeah, you kept us warm today. We worked in this and... They gave us two coffees and said, hey, good job, guys. Keep up the They were work. delicious. They were delicious. I had a little nip of both of them. Me too. And then I drank then all shared. the caramel. Yeah, we're shared. that way. Yeah, it's weird. It's not weird. We don't share the beers, though, Mark. Nope. And today we just got Miller Lights because we are basic. And you know why we also have Miller Lights? Because Paul lost and he didn't buy the damn beer yet. I did not. I was not going out to buy beer in this cold. I should have pre... Pre-bought. Pre-bought, yeah. Because you knew you were going to lose. Everybody's out buying milk and bread, and... We're I buying beers. We're buying beers. So, before we jump into our results, hot news right now is Dean Ambrose told WWE, see ya. Yep. After April, my contract runs out, I'm done. Do you think you'll see Dean Ambrose on TV anymore? I would have to say no. I mean, because he's he's now a liability. Right. I mean, I mean, he could just go nuts and just pipe bomb. Right. And he tried to pipe bomb on Monday. And I think that's why Nia Jax attacked him. Attacked him. Because Vince was like, get out there and stop this. And Nia and... So she's the bully. Nia, no, Nia and Tamino were the only two. Like, they were up next. So guess what? You, Your you're button was pushed to yeah. get out there. And you do what's best for business. Yeah. Uh, Again, I, I said this before, with the new Dean Ambrose thing, I, I really, when he came back, there was nothing that I wanted to be, he's bulkier, but that's it. There's nothing with his character that says, yeah, this is why I want to look. He was an anteater for one week, for God's sakes. Well, he, like, the lunatic fringe was awesome. I, But Dean Ambrose, as you know, was in the indies, was like a hardcore legend. Right. And they're not going to let him do that no, in the WWE. No, no. this is... The PG air, and that is not how we do things. I mean, they're pushing the envelope a little bit on the PG air with the sexuality, but they're not they are not going to have barbed wire stuff and chairs and oh my and all that going on. Nope, that stuff, that, that is a day of the past, I do believe. So, I don't know. Uh, some people are saying it's work, some people are not. They said his name on WWE.com. Yeah, you don't say a uh, wrestler's real name if it's a work. Yeah. So, Dean Ambrose, I don't know. We'll see you. I hope we see you in AEW, man. Yeah, if if you go there and you get your shit together. New Japan. I, who knows what AEW is going to be like. If they went to a hardcore type style and a more attitude air wrestling. Well, I don't think they need it to be complete ECW. No, uh, but like an attitude air, like WCW, like Monday Night Wars. That, yeah. They need to bring that air back and you'll have a lot of us old heads jump and chip. A, a lot of younger guys I'm kind of already excited, you know, we well, all, I'm a wrestling fan excited for it, without a doubt. So, I don't I don't know. I well, really, in one pay-per-view as an indie, it was one of the biggest shows. All In was one of the biggest shows out there. 
A but double or nothing is going to be huger. That's right. not a word, but more, it's going to be huger. I do believe you wanted to say more huge. I got you document. Right. But nonetheless, I mean, that's going to blow the shit, the roof off the everything, because now they know that there's something coming up after double or nothing. Well, and you're seeing a lot more guys leave because you have now have Dean Ambrose that's gone. Yeah. Um, Atomi just got released He today. did. Did he ask for a release? Did it, I didn't read. I didn't read the whole thing. I just said that it, they said you're released, more or less. Well, and I think there's going to be more. I yeah. really know after WrestleMania season, it always happens. That's kind of like end of a season for wrestling, and then the new one starts the next day. So, And you haven't seen guys like Ty Dillinger on TV or anything like that, so it's coming. And the ones that, the mid-carters that are on TV, Titus. I mean, I know he does a lot for the WWE, but... He ran into the ring, whoop, he tiptoed, he got into the ring, and then he was, I mean, they're not using people. No, well, he chased Kurt Hawkins back under the ring, so he was under the ring anyway. And then Kurt Hawkins, does that count as a victory for Kurt Kurt Hawkins? They said no, you have to actually win the whole thing. Ah, so an elimination though. I mean, it's a step in the right direction. Yeah, on Sunday it was, and then on Monday, a whole nother, you know, thing came out of it. So, let's do... We'll get to my OVW report later on. Let's do the Royal Rumble now. Take a break. Do Raw and SmackDown, and then I'll find a place for OVW. I don't think this is going to take very long. Uh, I didn't want. But we can do OVW right after this. Then. R- right, that sounds good. So let's just start up with the Royal Rumble. So the pre-show was the cruiserweight title: Kalisto, Tozawa, Atami, and Buddy Murphy. And Buddy Murphy just put it to him. They really, really did. But there was. I, I forgot. We have to go back to my notes. Because actually, let's start from the Rumble. Because I watched all seven hours. <laughs> and what? wanted to hang myself at one point. Somebody had more time than somebody else, I guess. Uh, it was announced during the pre-show that Cena was out and Braun was in. That, so, was, anou- that, was, that was an announcement that was coming Thursday. Yeah. Um, the Glorious guys got a match. It was against Razor and Scott Dawkins. And if Razor and Dawkins... Dawson would have won. Um, both teams got a title shot. Guess what? They buried both teams. Awesome. So glorious guys win. No trickery. Not that they're bad, but you know, no trickery or anything. So now they're out of the title hunt, I would say, right now. Again, because there's no... I mean, so who do you have in your tag team title hunt? In Raw? Me and you. Right. The, well, it's Can Crush Your Day, bud. It is. Uh, then it was time for the U.S. title. Rusa... Rusev Day against Shinsuke, and you kind of saw a little bit of a change in Rusev's attitude. You know, he was he was mean and gruff, and uh, I I don't know, but he was doing this for Lana, not for the title. Oh, well, see what happens when you get a woman in your life and you do stuff nice stuff for her. You lose your title. Yeah, both were both were near falls. This, that, and the other. Uh, Shinsuke was going for the keen shave, but moved. He hit, uh, Rusev hit the Mosca kick. An arm bar happens. The strength, da 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 da. And then Shinsuke wins. Yeah, but how did Lana, Alana get hurt? Or Lana get hurt? Well, she was up on the ring beefing with Shinsuke. And Rusev came running, and Shinsuke, with the eyes in the back of his head, moved. Bang! They ran in, husband and wife ran into each other. I messed up her ankle on that twist. Is she going to make it to the Rumble? We don't know. We, we'll find out we'll, in a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, we'll hold on we'll to that. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, all of a sudden, another Kinshasa, and we have a new champ. And I'm like, all right, that was a kind of a shitty run for Rusev. Right. You know, whatever. Uh, next up is the Cruiserweight match. It was just fast-paced and chaos. It really was. Everybody hit every finisher they've ever had. Well, I mean, it was a four-way dance in the cruiserweights, and the 205 Live is fast-paced action, which is awesome. Which is, But it's not on regular TV, so most people who just watch Raw and SmackDown don't know about the awesomeness of 205 Live. Right. Uh, everybody had educated feet during that match. There was kicks going around everywhere. Um, I don't know how you survived seven hours of Corey Graves' commentary. I drank a little bit on Sunday. I drank a lot bit on Sunday. I slept through I could tell. most of the pre-show and like three or four of the other matches. And I still haven't got back to watching them. 
It's all right. Uh, I just finished SmackDown two minutes before you walked in the door. Nailed it! I took a little snooze last night. Uh, Murphy hit Murphy's Law on Atami for the win. So Atami pretty much got pissed and said, I'm, I'm out. Done. So we're on to the main show. And when you start with your hottest thing right off the get, I said this in my notes. This match is early for a reason. It was Becky against Asuka. Uh, yeah. And we all know now. I mean, if you watched anything this week, you know why. Yeah. But uh, this match was good. Of course it's good. Asuka and Becky are both good wrestlers. When we're rating matches, I, I talked to the English professor earlier about this. Uh, the women's... Royal Rumble, this match, the Ronda Sasha match, and then the men's Rumble top four matches, with the men's being number four. Wait a second, you were gonna put Ronda's match? She was good. No, she was carried. No, she was carried. She was yeah. not good. No, she was. She, I, no, she was not. She was carried. She, Every time Ronda Rousey falls down, it looks like or stands up, it looks like she's walking on two pair of spaghetti, cooked spaghetti, cooked spaghetti, cooked spaghetti, limp noodles. I I just, I'm, I'm, I thought it was better than some of the other matches. Oof. I, I just really did. I don't know, man. I mean, I... You're going to give it to the Brock-Finn match? That was garbage. I'm going to say that the Raw Women's title and the WWE Universal title matches shouldn't should have been on your pre-show. Well, yeah. That's how bad they were. Uh, I don't know. I like Sasha way too much. Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's why. your I prerogative, she, and I get it. She carried the match, and it was oh, it she made carried, her better. She carried the whole damn match on her shoulders with one leg, really. Tied behind her back. Yeah. it That was bad. Okay. I'm, I'm so over Ronda Rousey. And I think we're going to be over Ronda soon. I really do. Hi, Megs. Welcome to the show. So, Oscar gets a win. Against Becky, and it was we just totally bypassed that match. Yeah, and it was just it was just you know just a tap out, right? So no funny shenanigans or anything. So I don't know, but there's more to come with Becky. I feel, I think you'll find out in a minute. You'll find out in a minute. Uh, so the next up is Miz and Shane, both wearing baseball jerseys. How did you like that? They didn't have to wear anything special. Eh, they didn't need anything special. No, against the bar, and Shane actually attacks early. Which I was shocked. I thought he would be the one that lays in the back and let Miz do most of the business. Right. But Shane attacked early. Um, top rope dive uh, from Shane onto Sheamus. You saw all Shane's spots. And this is where, if you've listened before, the English professor is spot on. The McMahons are just in it to be in it. And yeah. If, and if Shane just has to do those same spots all the time, his matches are old. Wait a second, but Shane hit a moonsault in this match. Or not, a shooting star press. He did at the end. He actually... a shooting star press. That's... That's new, and I was going to get to that. Yeah. So, he really didn't hit his elbow on a table on the outside, because he's got, he got taken out. He hit a flying clothesline. He didn't hit his coast-to-coast, because he got drilled and, and picked then, up. Cesaro was amazing with that. And then the spin, the Cesaro For spin. For 20 minutes. Yes. Holy hell, did you see Shane? He was just like holding his head. I thought he was going to get sick. Spin like that for as long as he did. Was, he might have passed out because all that blood is rushing to your head. Like, there's no way to fake that. You, no. Yeah, that definitely happens. And Cesaro, I think, went a little bit too far for him because I've never seen him stumble a little bit. But he was going, going, going. He's like, damn, I'm going to just keep this going. When he stopped, he kind of did a little Texas two step to say, Oh, I, I might have went a little bit too far this time. But he corrected himself. But you're right. Uh, Shane does get the win with a, a freaking shooting star. I never saw him doing that. I'm, no, me neither. And that's an impressive move. Shane's not a spring He's chicken. He's 50. Yeah. Shane is not a spring chicken. That's awesome for Shane McMahon to pull off. I mean, I'm 41 like and I couldn't do it. Plus, I'm fat and balding. Well, balding doesn't have anything to do with it. But Well, it makes you more aerodynamic. You <laughs> might be able to pull that off. Could you pull off one? I would try. You got bad knees, son. You ain't doing that. But they go out and they celebrate with Mrs. Dad. You know, he's sitting front row and, hey, hey, Dad. So I'm like, something's going to come up with this. You didn't see that part? I didn't see that part. No, I was I slept through the first two matches, I told you. No. Oh. Okay, well, new new champs. New champs. How long is this going to last? Uh, so far, it lasted this, this week. Tuesday. Tuesday. 
It'll it'll end soon. We'll see what happens. Yeah. More on that. More on that in a minute. Uh, next up is Ronda against Sasha. We pretty Can much we get a button that says more on that in a minute, so I don't have to waste my voice every time. There's a lot of buttons that needed. We need to invest more into this. A and... censor button too. Are you planning on busting out the f word later? Or... No, not not no, today. No, because Helen was pissed. Not today. Um, I didn't know that Ronda one of Ronda's finishers was called Piper's Pit. I did not know that either. I am not happy about that. Well, Ronda's I understand whole, her whole Ronda's gimmick. Ronda's right. whole gimmick is Roddy Piper's gimmick. Right, right. Except for Roddy didn't smile nearly as much as she did. Roddy never smiled. Well, well that's he, a, when he was being dastardly, Roddy has. Right, but I mean, not, I'm going to kick your ass, Sasha, and I have a huge <laughs> smile on my face. Uh, whatever. Sasha looked re- at Ronda won. I, I got this one right again. I won. I, did we know this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ronda won. Hey, you know that if the bar would have beat Miz and Shane, I would have won. No, because I had Seth Rollins winning. I won six and a half to three. Well, whatever. You would not have won. Well, we were counting halves. I didn't know that. Well, because of Becky. It, oh, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Get 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 on your stuff. Um, After the match, you know, Sasha kind of looks rejected, but we saw... The four. Something again. We saw the four. We was going to shake hands and then Bam. The four horse women is coming. I really thought Becky was going to attack Ronda after this match. She had this dastardly look on her face, like a smile, like an angry smile. Oh, you thought Becky was coming when, out right then and there? No, I thought, or not Becky, but Sasha. Sasha. Yeah, I did too. she had this look on her face like, nope, it's going to happen now. And I thought, the, uh, I thought this would have been a perfect way to bring in the other four horse women of MMA. Right. I, and you know what? I actually agree with you, bro, on this one. Because it uh, it could set up something for Elimination Chamber. But if you do that, you're taking Bailey and Sasha out of that tag team. And I think they need to be in that tag team title hunt. Oh, they're going to be... They, they, they should be the first ones. Right, they should be. But if you do that and set it up for that... But WWE does some stupid things, so it'll probably be Nia Jax and Tamina. Yeah, right. Because Nia saved Raw. But we'll get more on that in a minute. There's a lot going on in a minute. I don't know if we have enough minutes on this podcast. What's up next? The next up is the Women's Royal Rumble, and I have them listed one to thirty. I'm not going to go over that. There's some random things that happen. Um, I, I pick I picked Alexa Bliss to be the, my longest entry, and she was number twenty six, wasn't she? Something like that. Yeah, uh, I'm almost positive it was twenty six. Yeah, she was. She was twenty six. Yeah. How, how'd that work for you? Oh, uh, well, super. Well, my longest was. Who do I have? Um, your longest was. I don't. Oh, I had Bliss's longest. Oh yeah, you're, you you had Mandy. Was. I did have Mandy as my longest. And she could have. She was number three. I'm like, oh shit! If this actually happens, and I'm shocked. Nat ended up being the longest. She went from two to twenty some. Yeah, she was like 30, 35 minutes. minutes or so. But what does that do for Nat? <sighs> Nothing. What, what that they, says nothing. it. Yeah. What are they doing with that? Nothing. Nothing. Because her and Ronda are friends, so she's not in the title hunt. No. She's she doesn't not. have a tag team partner, so she's not in the tag team title hunt. Right. Unless they put her with some random ridiculous. And it doesn't make sense. Would no, it wouldn't. There's there is nobody. No. And that is your wire, wiry veteran. Right. So give this spot of the longest to. Any of your NXT people that you've just brought up, Lacey Evans, would have been good. She'd made it almost as far as it was good. It was close. Who eliminated Lacey Evans? Do you remember? I don't have all those. Because right all of a sudden, it, she was just gone. I wanted to probably say Charlotte. At one point, uh, they were right there in the ring together. And you might be right. I think it was Charlotte. But I can remember they said something about Lacey Evans, and I was like, she's gone. Like, where the hell did she go? Yeah, I think it was a... How about Nikki Cross? Let her have the longest. You're pushing the shit out of her. Right. So you're going to see something with her. Or somebody that we both love. This would have been perfect for Ruby as well. I know I, I went with Bliss because it was my hopes. But Ruby needed this. The Riot Squad is amazing. And they just keep getting shit on. Over and over and over again. It was nice seeing... Uh, Io Shirai in it. It was nice seeing Candice LeRae. So you have guys like you have girls like the LeBron Squad and stuff, and you got this tag team title hunt coming, and, but and you have all these other women on your roster. 
Why are they not using... It's the same with the men's t- division. They're not using anybody. It's the same guys beating up the same guys or the same girls beating up the same girls. You're going to hear me pull my hair out on SmackDown. Yeah. You really are. So it's coming. So it's coming. But In a minute. So how about Casey Calizano's... Uh, she gets thrown out, but she and lands on her ass and her feet are still up. And then she flips up on the... Her hands walks over, grabs the ring post with her legs, and shimmies up it. That's amazing. That was awesome. I want to see there you, was a, your fitness, man. Let's see you do that. There's a there was a lot of Naomi's athletic moves that happened. Naomi did that last year, though. She jumped from barrier to. I thought actually steps. she was going to jump on like one of the announce tables and make it, but at least she jumped from the barrier to the steps. But whatever. Um, so. Out comes number 28, and it's Lana. She oh. can't walk. Hobbling. Hobbling. She got the hobbles, because her ankles busted up from a elusive day. Running into her. Running into her. Whoa! Whoa! Comes out. Beck comes out you and says, number, I'm taking her spot. You need a number 28. Yeah. Who else are you going to do? Like, you can't have a 29. It's not your Royal Rumble then. Second biggest pop of the night was when she came out. Right. Biggest pop of the night is when she won. Oh, for sure. And it killed. The man is the hottest commodity right now. Literally. In wrestling. Right? Uh, Great rumble, though. I I loved it. Oh, the women's match was fantastic. It told stories. There's stuff to build off of here. Right. And uh, you got a nice feud with Lacey Evans and Charlotte coming. Right. It's There is big things on its way. Yeah, it, these women are saving wrestling over and over and over. Uh, next matchup is AJ against Daniel. Great technical match, but dead crowd. No, because you just had your... Everybody came to see Becky... Oh, Helen! Becky <laughs> the man Lynch. Straight fire, and she just won. Nobody. I'm surprised anybody stayed. Right? But everything else was telltale. You knew kind of something what was going to happen. Right. So Daniel and AJ's match was good. But dead crowd. I don't know how they even did it. No. And then uh, Rowan comes out. Hello, back to... Formerly known as Eric Rowan. Yep, now just Rowan. Now just Rowan. No more Bludgeon Brothers. No more Bludgeon... Well, not yet. We'll see what happens. Not that we know of. And he must be a vegan now. Because that's the only way Daniel Bryan's going to hang out with anybody. That boy don't look like a vegan. No, he eats a lot of meat. And this is at like 10 o'clock this match is going on. I'm like, we there's still, still an hour of the men's rumble and then the Brock match. Right. And I'm like, man. Work what's is going to suck on Monday. What's going to go on? Guess what happened? Work sucked on Monday. We were One, it was frigid. And we just were literally hanging off the truck. Exhausted. I was exhausted. So Becky wins. That's, I mean, uh, Daniel wins. Daniel wins. Uh, good match, but whatever. Next matchup is Balor against Brock. This The writing was on the wall from the get. Yeah, we but, knew. But Finn had good spots in this he match. He did. And you actually seen Brock take a little bit, actually do some good acting when he got hurt. Maybe when he when he ran into the corner of the table. Yeah. Maybe he wasn't acting. Maybe he's actually hurt. But I don't know. He kept the title. Yeah, okay, that's all. Yeah, care. that's all. It. I. I mean, we both were praying for Finn to win, but we just we don't want to pick Brock anymore. No. So we'll see the Universal t- Championship uh, at WrestleMania. Next up, and to end the show is the Men's Royal Rumble. And my first note, I was dazed. I was dozing on and off. I did watch it. Uh, I didn't know when Rey Mysterio got in because he was in. So that's when I kind of took a nap from 20 to 25. And um, what a waste of entries in some of Jeff Jarrett? What a waste of Jeff Jarrett. That was fun. At least it was a rollback. But there was only one rollback. Right. It, it well, was, if you count Kurt, you can count two if you count Kurt Angle. Right. But he's more or less in the picture. He's involved anymore again. Uh, a waste with your boy, Noe so- Jose, with Titus O'Neil. Um, just a couple other that are just wasted. And we said this. This is the first thing we talked about on the, on the garbage truck. Why not Velveteen Dream? Yeah, what, where were your Why NXT Why not guys? Adam Cole? You have, you, I mean, what? 
Johnny Wrestling. I was, it was nice to see Johnny oh, Wrestling yeah. in the ring. But they don't crack too. Alistair yeah, Black as well. I'm I'm hoping them to get the call up because I'd like to see both of them on the main roster because there's some cool things they can do with them. Right. But you're not going to see Gargano because he's got the title right now. And Alistair Black, you may see, but where are you going to put him? What are you going to do with him? Yeah, he's kind of the same person. There's there's two people that are kind of like uh, if you put him on Raw. To me, he's brawnish. Okay, Braun. Braun and Bray. Right, Braun and Bray. So he's kind of that way. He's kind of that way on SmackDown if Lars ever is not afraid of people anymore. Lars is afraid of people, scary people. Well, Lars has had some issues with past tweets. Yeah, he has. So I don't know where this whole thing's going. I, they could say that it's with, there's issues with people, but he may have gotten Hogan. He may have Hoganed himself. Oh, that's that's a verb now. Nope. Especially if you're a person of color. Okay. Um, number 30 is our truth Was our truth Nia Taxum. And how do you feel about this? Um, I have two feelings, actually. Broken and miserable. No. One Lovely of them, and happy. One of them's excited. Okay. I'm excited because I think this is setting up for more mixed gender matches. Which everybody else is doing them. Indy's been doing them for years, get, and they sell tickets. Right. Get your shit together, WWE. You can have men... And because we're we're a nation of equality now. Right. You can have men wrestle women. There's and it's okay. That. And it's cool. It is. Some of the time, it's cooler than men wrestling men. You or tell women me you, wrestling women. You tell me you wouldn't... I'm going to go right to Sasha. You wouldn't lo- mind seeing Sasha against Rey Mysterio. Right, that Imagine cool that. Match. Exactly. That would be an awesome match. Uh, the my next feeling is why Naya? That's thank you. And I know why Naya because she's big, right? But so she could hold her own against the men. But why not push this story that, folks? We know it's going to end up being a triple threat match at WrestleMania for the title. Right. I mean, come on, let's skip ahead with uh, Ronda and Becky. Why not have Charlotte come out and beat his ass? That gets her into it instead of just saying, you're a flair, you get to be in there. Okay, you're the man, but guess who was actually in, in the, the men's man. Royal Rumble? Right. Smart writing, not smart with WWE. Right. So, so uh, the only ones that we have is Rollins was the longest and he won. Back yeah, because he rolled in at number four. Right. Ten. Ten four. He also took a nap on a table because of Lashley. He did. He did. How about Lashley. That what? was quick. Well, he's, he, he had I grease see. on his hands. Right. Something. I don't know. Why not have Leo in it instead? It, I, there, there's just some. The guys was good, but there just could have been more to it. Right? Hey, speaking of Royal Rumble, let's do this real quick because we're done with the other stuff. Uh, we are still on Facebook doing our Can Crushers Ready to Rumble Royal Rumble Winner Contest. Tournament Rumble. Of Rumblings. Uh, Austin versus Hogan. Austin won. Flair and Hart is tomorrow. Tomorrow, HBK versus Taker. Taker with Taker a landslide. Taker is just landsliding. Everybody. Whoever gets Taker in the final is gonna get ready for nothingness. Right. So the Rock beat Cena, and the Rock moves on. A lot of people were pissed about this. Here we come. Guess and what? He's I had to make this decision. El numero uno guy that's pissed about this is this guy right here. In, 1990, in 1994, watch. Bret Hart and Lex Luger both went over the top rope and both feet, competitors' feet touched the floor at the exact same time. And they both got a match against Yokozuna at WrestleMania. At WrestleMania. Right. That's where Bret won the title. That's where Bret did Bret win the title. Did Bret Hart have two matches that night? Didn't he, he have did. a match with Owen first? Yeah, well, they both, they both did. Just to make it even. Right. Yeah. So, here's the thing. Why didn't we do a comment your favorite picture of the three in a triple threat match? Because those go over like a lead balloon. You never know. It, it did been. the last time. No, so when, I, when did you do this the last time? This we, has never happened before. Yes, we did. We had the three-way King of the Ring one. It was you and the English professor. We were here that day setting it up, and we're like, let's have a three-way for that one. That went over like shit. We had seven votes. And it's because you can't, for some reason on our 
So if anybody's Facebook savvy and can figure out why we can't do multiple pictures and pictures gifts, anything or gifts on our Facebook, Facebook page, page, let, let us me know, know because we don't know what's going on. On my Mountain Lions page, I just put on some jerseys because we're getting new, on new my, gear, and I got five, five things on there. Right, on my somebody page. somebody added one because they were pissed that the other ones weren't good enough. On my page, I can do the same thing, but on the on the freaking Can Crusher Facebook page, we're limited to... You get two. To, two. That's it. Black or white. So, it's a double disqualification. Go and on. Rock just moves on. Way to go, Rock. It's now it's Rock against Taker. Yeah, well, who knows yeah. what's going to happen. Who are you feeling, Flair or Brett? Uh, definitely Flair. Woo! Flair had the biggest win in Can Crusher history. So there was thirty votes. Thirty votes. Twenty nine went to Flair. Brian Gardner is the only person that voted for uh, Sheamus. Huh? The only person. I don't know why, Brian. Well, good for you, Brian. Hey, let me do my OVW right now, and we'll come back and rip through Raw and SmackDown. It's time for your OVW report, and this report is 1,015. Uh, this was a great episode. A uh, great episode. Saw a couple different people that we haven't seen in a while, and it starts off with Heartthrob Jaden Roller taking on Zoe. Zoe has been uh, not around, but... Presence has been felt. He really has. I really like the pigtail princess. I really do. Jaden, this gimmick is uh, on spot. Uh, The sad part is Zoe just takes him to the woodshed and beats him. He then gets on the mic and calls out cash flow saying that, you know, they're going to have a battle of who the best big man is. Excited for it. Next up is the TV title gauntlet. And Shiloh Jones starts off against Maximus Khan. Khan's beating the shit out of Jones. But Shiloh, cheater, uh, puts his feet on the rope, gets a dirty pin. DL3 comes out to take on Shiloh, and they start doing karate moves, and they shake hands, but both fingers are crossed. Uh, Both try roll-ups. This was a nice, funny, little gimmicky spot. Uh, Big D trips both of them, so you don't know where this is going in the long run. But DL3 pins Shiloh the same way he just pinned Maximus with his feet on the rope. Uh, next out, uh, DL3 takes on Leonis Khan, and all hell breaks loose. All four of them are just fighting. So DL3 and Leonis get kicked out, double disqualification, and it sets up just for a normal TV title match then. And it's Drew Hernandez against Justin Smooth. And Drew comes out strong, but Smooth just showing why he is continuously this TV title champion. Uh, As he gets his juices flowing, he hits a powerful spine buster, a huge boot, and boom, moving on to next week again with this TV title. Next up is Lutz and Cove against Amon and Crazy Steve. And during the match, it's announced that the Void are going to take on Amon and Crazy Steve. And Amon and Crazy Steve beat the snot out of Lutz and Cove, kind of showing the void what's coming uh, in the near future. Jay Lee comes out, and I love that Jay Lee is extremely vicious right now. Uh, she comes out by herself to take on Callie. Uh, Callie hits the ring, though, and spears Jay Lee, then hits a drop kick that sends Jay Lee to the outside. Jay Lee gets control, uh, but not for long. Callie gets a small package victory, but this is where you see Jay Lee at her finest. She beats the snot out of Callie. Brittany Devere comes out and starts to help Callie, but Jay Lee doesn't care. She leaves her laying in the ring, and Valerie and Callie are just sitting there watching. So, are the It Girls done? Do Callie and Jay Lee, uh, no, do Callie and Valerie know what's going on? I don't know, but Jay Lee is just making a presence known in OVW. In oh, I, I just love what they're doing with her right now. Just getting that extra heel on her. 
Uh, they had a recap of the Revolver gun match from last week. And this is kind of how the show ends. And it was all over the place. Uh, it started with the Revolver uh, and Eddie. And there's this fight in all Eddie night. Uh, Eddie fights out of everything the Revolver has. Dapper Dan comes out to get the ref out with a phone call. I just think there was just way too much. Maximus comes out. Uh, the gun comes out. I mean, this match was setting up way too much. Literally, two or three matches trying to be set up in this main event. Uh, the radio TV, uh, the radio title, and it kind of just gets, you know, messed up. Um, but nonetheless, what happens is, step back and we'll catch ourselves. If Gunn and Vanetti win... Uh, Gun continues on and will face Abyss. Vanetti will get a shot at the radio title that the dude has. If Revolver and Dude win, Revolver gets Gun's title shot and Dude does not have to defend the title against Vanetti. More or less, that's what happened. So uh, the show ended also with. Uh, Cage and Dustin Jackson with a face-to-face, and they beat the snot out of each other uh, as we look forward to February's Saturday Night Special. Guys, it was crazy. The, the ending of this was crazy. Check it out on YouTube, and you will not be disappointed. We'll be back to talk about Raw SmackDown. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, the wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. Collar and Elbow is the brand. Passion and love for wrestling is the drive. I am Al Snow, and this is Collar and Elbow, the wrestling brand. Paul, we're about to burn it down! Oh my god. Yeah, Rollins is the first out, and he's full of joy. He gets to point at the sign for WrestleMania. And he does. And out comes Triple H. You have to make your pick tonight. But I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Maybe you wanted to think about it a little bit. Well, you know going into that match, you got to pick. Come on. Get your shit in gear. Oh, now you got Migs excited because you're snapping your fingers. I know. Am I going O-U-T? Am I going O-U-T? Um, so Shocking Dean comes out. I'm like, oh, man, are we seriously going to do this Again. Again. And guess what? Yes, we are. So we get Seth against Dean. For the millionth time. Yeah. And I was like, ah. And Seth wins. With a curb stomp again. So they're allowing it again. Right. The Next stomp. week, though, you're not allowed to have it. So it must be in each state a curb stomp's allowed or it's not allowed. Well, that makes sense. Um, so Dean's still sitting in the ring after the loss. And this is where he looks like he's going to... Pipe bomb. Yeah. Not happening. As we covered... Nia Jax comes out and... Pretty much gets in his face and then gives him a shot in the back as he was leaving. Yeah. And Dean says in an interview afterwards, I'm sure Nia didn't mean to get physical. She's just helping me out of the She must have tripped and helped me out of the ring. And as she was yelling at me on my way up, I'm guessing it was an apology. So I take your apology. I accept your apology. Or do you see a little twist here? Do you see this being the first ever? Because Nia is not going to be in any title hunt at WrestleMania. But that's not true, because she's her and Tamina moved on. But they did, and they're in the match that they were coming out for against Bliss and Mickey for the tag team titles. But I think there's more to come. And this isn't me saying this. I think there's more to come. This is where you get some uh, old school women involved for this tag team thing. Just I have an but idea. It's not, but it's going to be an elimination chamber, right? That's then. But I'm saying at WrestleMania. Oh yeah. You know. 
Dean's almost done. Do you think we have our first intergender match of Dean against Nia, and Nia just puts him in the woodshed? I don't know. And will, then he's gone for a couple Dean, years. Will Dean do that? Because that will lower his stock going somewhere else. Uh, will it, though? I don't know. Uh, so, right, the Samoan SWAT sisters take on Bliss and James. It's good to see Bliss back. She took some nice bumps compared to Rumble. Right. So she does look healthy. Better. Hel- yeah. Healthier. Um, so... Where, where do you think Alexa is? Good right now? Uh, I think Alexa is good. Do you know what I'm hoping for? Mickey James also looked like Crazy Shay. Did you notice that? Well, always. No, she usually has that hardcore country, but you know what? She just had colors all over the place. <laughs> Nonetheless. All right, good. What are we hoping for? I am hoping to see, and you are you might actually like this idea. Mm. A little blissful thinking. that The two members of the Riot Squad, not Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan and Liv? Get into the Elimination Chamber. That leaves Ruby out. She needs a tag team partner. Bliss and Ruby, like... That's a great idea. I know, right? And that would actually be one of the better tag teams. I haven't thought of a name of it yet. Yeah, whatever. But you're... I, or just Alexa kind of is a friend of the Riot Squad. Not joining full-fledged. Because... A, but, a he, business associate. Like... The enemy of an enemy is my friend. Yeah, sure. That's, that sounds amazing. But we'll see where it goes. I mean, because we have two matches already. Like, the Samoan Swat sisters are in. Yeah. Their first team in, which, whatever, you need somebody Sonya big in. and Mandy just said that they're in. And <laughs> Nobody on SmackDown, you could say you're in, and you're in. And you're in. Uh, we have Kurt backstage. He loved being the GM. And the, this whole Kurt Corbin thing... Has now gone on for six months. It's old. Yeah, it's done. So we get a match, and I don't care. No. Corbin wins pretty easy. Yeah. So hopefully it's done. Like, both of these guys, nothing against... I, I'm glad Kurt's coming back, doing some wrestling here and there, but Corbin needs something else. He is just putrid. But he's all over the place. Right. It's Kurt this week. It's Elias last week. Braun it's Braun later on in the show. Yeah. Stop. He cannot but carry we'll get your to show. That in a minute. He cannot carry your show. Because nobody wants to see him. So they recap the Universal title match, and then Finn comes out. He's a little banged up, which I'm glad he's selling it. You know, he would sold it really good. I don't know if he I, he probably actually banged up. You try taking a couple of suplexes and see how you feel the next day. I, I, I hurt myself just stepping off the garbage truck, so. Um he was actually praising Brock for his power and speed, and I'm like, don't do this. Because people will actually listen to you. Finn. Yeah. Stop. Well, I think that's another another push from the back. Of we, course it is. We need to get people on Brock Lesnar's side, too. And we, No, we no, don't. We, don't. No. we need. You want to get people on Brock Lesnar's side? Fire him. Put No. <laughs> make him defend the Universal Championship every week on Raw. No, because his, I hate his matches. Well. But you do two more... Mickey does more moves than him. But I'm saying, if you keep him, if you keep putting him on Raw, sooner or later, somebody's going to listen, or the people will talk, I guess. The people will talk. So Bob comes out, and Leo says, Bob is bigger, faster, stronger than Braun, uh, or Brock. than Brock's ever had. So this is also setting something up for much later. If and when Brock loses his title... There's your next match the at whole, SummerSlam, the for the love of God. The reason that Lashley came back is because he wanted to face Brock Lesnar. Right. It's going to happen. And he still hasn't done that yet. And he's not going to fight him title versus title. No. That's not going to happen. Oh, unless you want to lose your inter- Intercontinental title, too. So now you don't have a title on Raw. That actually sounds like something WWE would do, though. Right. Perfect idea. Give Brock both of them. Right. Now, the only thing on there is, because the tag teams are barely on there, too. Right. They're the women's titles. Uh, Bob, three choke slams, and then Finn's just left in the ring. Next up is the Revival. They get another shot. You know, not the glorious guys, but to build their way back up. <laughs> and they start with Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. They actually had a package of Ryder and Hawkins. I love I love the this idea. I hope that they stick around. I hope they actually become one of the staples in the tag team division. And they get hit by the shatter machine and lose. And lose. So do you really think that's gonna happen? Well I mean the revivals beat the death right now, so now you're just gonna have them beat 
two other Schloads. Schloads. And call it a day. I don't know why you got to call them Schloads. That's not very nice. So Daniel Bryan and Rowan are backstage on Raw. What the hell are they doing there? They didn't need to be there. They they were looking for um, Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins. And, but Seth is a bad guy. He creates air pollution because he burns everything down. <laughs> You love this Daniel Bryan. I love this Daniel Bryan. This is awesome. Um, And he's not worried. Seth isn't going to pick him anyway. He knew. He knew right off the get. I'm not picking him. So it's time to walk with Elias again. One of our favorite. Yeah, but this is going to be a thing? Him fighting Double J? Uh, It must be. Because then the road D-A-W-G comes out. The dog. The dog. Welcome back. Road dog. And they actually sing Be My Baby Tonight. Do they? They Did you not see this? No, I missed this. This is why you're not saying anything. I was, okay. lay, I was laying down sleeping. Nope, I was in the bathtub resting Epsom salts and lavender oils. I was going to ask you to put one of the little bubbly things in. <coughs> no, I got to get some of them out. Uh, Brandy, hook them up. Brandy, you're a fine girl. Oh, um, yeah, they sing the song. And Double J takes a guitar shot as well as Road Dog. So Mojo's in the back. Did you see Mojo? I miss Mojo, too. He's saying, it's your fault. It's your fault. You're a better person. It's your fault. And it looks like he's talking to somebody. But if you knew the first time, he was yelling at himself in a mirror. He's making a change, and he's going to change himself. I wouldn't mind that. He tried it before. Remember he was bad, Mojo? Ha! Huh. Yeah, you Nailed got it! it. Um, we'll see about Mojo. Next up is Nat with Dana Brooke. Is this going to be Dana Brooks, or this is going to be Nat's tag team partner? Well, it was supposed to be Ember Moon, but Ember legit got hurt at the Rumble. Yes. So she's going to be out for a while, which sucks because I saw something coming with her. You know, she could have been involved in so many things. And that was Nat's real partner recently. Right. And that could have been something. But Dana Brooke is... She's with you today, me tomorrow. She wants to know about EBC. Three's uh, package p- protein package. Yeah. So you knew once they announced that Nat and Dana are fighting the Riot Squad. Well, welcome to the Elimination Chamber Riot Squad. There we go. So they are in as Liv rolls up Nat for the win, and Dana did nothing in this match. Useless. Um. So Ronda's gonna have another open challenge. Great. And she's talking about. I was dream about the crowd, and they could have gave two shits whatever she said. Because you heard the man chant. For, I heard it without, I heard it laying in my bathtub. Right. From Arizona to Ridgeway. Right. That's a little bit of a distance. It's a, it's a short skip and a hop. Right. The way the crow and flies. Nothing against Bailey. Bailey, it could have been anybody Ronda in this match. Was, no, Rhonda was out there. Trying to get through her promo, and the fans weren't having it. Yeah. Thank God for Bailey to come out and save the day. Yeah, because she she was stumbling. She was stumbling bad. So Bailey's like, so you're saying you want to fight me tonight? This is an open chat. This is what you're because trying to say? the WWE Universe had her, had Ronda shook. Yeah. That's, that's your woman's champion. That's who you needed to have as your woman's champion. Garbage. And, and Bailey carries this match. Oh, Carries this match. I mean, nothing against Bales. We knew she wasn't going to win. No. And you knew that she was going to carry the match. It was just like every other match Ronda's had. She gets carried the whole match. And then she armbars him. Armbar, boom. And then, whoa. Here comes Beck. Finally. Slowly, though. Oh, yeah. Beck's, Beck's a little beat, dinged up. Beaten, battered. And she's like, I don't need to be like Seth. Uh, that sounded like she was country. Nonetheless. She's Irish. She's Irish. I don't need time. I pick you. Yeah. And I'm going to slap the mystique off of you. I'm going to beat your ass. The last time I was at your house. You were I, laying there. I planted your ass right there. And you never came to look for me being the baddest woman on the planet. And she, I came back to look for you in your house. And Rhonda's smiling the whole time. Beck has this somber, pissed off, I'm ready to fight North Broad Street brawlers type of deal thing. And Rhonda can't. No. she can't. I mean, when it comes fist to cuffs, UFC, 
But she she'd beat ass. Right. This is entertainment. She is not an entertainer. No. Not so. even close. So, I'm one. done talking about it. Ronda Rousey is like Brock Lesnar right now. I'm just done talking about him. I really don't care. So, next matchup is Braun against Drew. and Alright, whatever. Braun against Drew. Uh, Corbin comes out. Gets in. Smacks him with a chair. The yeah. match... The match is over. They both choke slam Braun on the steps. Does Braun go away for a little bit now? I, I, I that, mean, he's not going to be involved in anything. He has to. Where? What else are they going to do with him? I mean, the three of them are just reliving six months ago. Over it, and over it is, again. It is now getting back. So Seth comes out. And he's getting ready to make his announcement. To get announced. And Heyman inter- interrupts it. And Brock comes out. More or less, five, six, 27 F5s, I don't know, and... You had that backwards. It was Seth Rollins' time, and, right. Brock was com- and Brock comes out first. Right. And then Seth comes out, gets right in his face, and then gives him a wapo. Yeah, well... Guess. And then he gets F5'd 100 times. So Becky Lynch starts SmackDown. Thank God. Boom. We're on, yeah. And the man chant start all over again. Right? And she's like, uh, meeting up with Ronnie on Raw, and she crumbles, and, you know, I just win rumbles. So she was kind of doing a little uh, wordplay. White girl rapping. Um, she's proud to be working. She's, you know, this, that, and you know, We've all heard this. And this is where I just turn sour. Can a flare not back? The F up. She is not needed in this. No. Becky can handle this match by herself and it's carry get Ronda. It's more of a pop with just Becky and Ronda than it would Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda. So, I'm already saying Ronda does not get pinned at WrestleMania. No. Flair will. Which is horrible. Right. This feud between Flair and Ronda, uh, Flair and Becky, can last for years. Forever. Flair and Dusty... Took 10 years off, and then you just hate each other that you can get it right back. Step the freak back for one WrestleMania season, but what Flair. Do you, what do you do with Charlotte Flair? Because she's one of your big draws, too. Put her... I don't know. I don't. I, at this point, I don't care. She had seven effing championships in two years. I am kind of hoping that Bailey and Sasha and Flair... End up against the other three horsewomen. Right. And they're not involved in the WrestleMania match. That would be amazing. That would be great. Flair just needs to stop being involved. It, that I'm so pissed about this. But we know it's going to end up being involved. Everybody knows. So R-Truth and Mella come out. And Mella is just fine. Ah. Um... And he's pissed about Nia taking a spot. Why wouldn't he be? And he said, so I went to the McMahons, and they did the right thing. They gave me a title shot at Shinsuke Nakamura and the Amer- universe, or the U.S. title. US title. Right. And he wins! <laughs> and he wins! Out of nowhere. Well, Rusev comes out, and he's pissed. He's like, well, and there's no no more... Um, Direct uh, rematches. Rematch right, right. clause, so... Rusev gets a rematch against, or gets a match against. And did you think Rusev was going to win it back yes. that night? I did too. So and so you've just had your uni- or your American US. US. Titles. Wow. Why can't I speak? Studies. <laughs> you've just had that change hands three times or two times, which I was thinking was a third time in three weeks. Days. Right. Yeah. Why? And I'm like, oh. so why take it off of Rusev? I, all right, so we all know Rusev now is bad. Again, he's kind of aligned this with guy, Shinsuke. This guy flip flops. He's more catching up than the, the big, big show. show. He's catching up. Why can't Rusev just turn bad and beat him and get a match later? Why does he need it that night? And I'm happy our truth won. It's going to be fun. That he just needs to step away from these two. But guess what? We're going to have an elimination chamber, a triple threat match. Bet me. Prove me wrong. We see Becky leaving, and she jumps into her vehicle, and she's like, why didn't you go talk to the medical staff? And Becky's like, I'm out of here. 
I don't so, need to. Yeah, I don't need to. So more or less, she's just. I I want Becky to be healthy. If Becky's not there next week, I'm fine. Right. Let but, her sit at home. But you know what's not going to be fine? The ratings of SmackDown. Right. Well, it does, they don't need to be there. She can record something and do it. Mm, that's don't what's announce. Thing. Don't announce that she's not there. Right. I mean, there's teasers. They do it all the time. Uh, Ray comes out and is going to take on. Is going to have a match against Samoa Joe. But not happening. Vega says, "Hey, hey, hey! I know you got your eyes on me. You know, good for Ray. <laughs> good for Ray. And you know, you should actually keep your eyes on Olmus. And Who Ray was right behind you. And Ray gets ready to say something, and Olmus, boom." What did you think about Almas hitting the triple thing that Eddie Guerrero used to do? I loved it. Did you like that? I, I did. He could have done a little more of the shimmer. Yeah, he could have. Yeah, he could have played. He could have sold more. it more. He could have, but it was it was good. It really was good. Um, uh, because they're they're boys. It's tight. It, it pisses more people off on Almas. Right. And I love this whole Almas thing. Uh, Russo's backstage, and the Good Brothers are talking to him, and they uh. Challenge him for a match later on, but I don't think the match happened, did it? I didn't see it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Unless that happened right before Daniel Bryant when I was going to pick up Teresa to get her car, because that's what we do on but Tuesday But I, I kind of just fast-forwarded through it to see what was going on. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it happened. Nonetheless, Russo says don't... Maybe sc- it's next week. Don't screw me over. I, nor I don't care Maybe about that match. Week. I do. I'm hoping this is a good brother's push. Right, but then you're burying Russo again, because he's bad again. Bad again. Uh, then there's a tag team cel- uh, championship celebration. Shane and Miz, Shane and Miz, and they're both emotional. They get the dad in the ring. Miz's dad. Mandy and Sonya. And then it was a four. No, no, we're not there yet. Mandy and yeah, Sonya. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. Mandy and Sonya declare their title first. Oh yeah, because Corey Graves didn't shut up about the whole Mandy. That, like, I love Mandy, but... Mandy. Right. But I can't stand to listen to Corey Graves for another minute. When's He's his contract come up? awful. Right? He talks over people. He he doesn't let people even have a thought. Look, I could listen to Renee Young read the dictionary. Honestly. Yeah. On Monday night. Like, she, could, she could just sit there and read words out of the dictionary and tell me if they're nouns or pronouns or adjectives or whatever. Would you ask for the sentence, like the spelling bee can have a sentence? Absolutely. Just to hear her talk more. Because she actually has good ideas. She knows wrestling. Word origin, too? I, probably. Eh. I don't really care about the origin. Most of them is Latin anyway. Right. So that's kind of a pointless question. But they ask it all the time during spelling bee. Well, that's because they're trying to figure shit out. But if it's that, always right? Latin, why are they asking it? Mm-hmm. Because they're getting time to figure it out. Okay, so it is time for the four-way match to find out who the new number one contenders to Shane and Miz are. Heavy, heavy machinery's in this match. Great. And they're doing some business. They did some work in this match. They did. But the Usos win. Right. You can know, it not be heavy machinery? Can it? Here, not that the Usos so you are have great. Heavy machinery. The Usos who always put on good promo, promos. New day. And, new day's and promos good too. Three best teams, you know, in the WWE right now, without a doubt. Change it up and give the heavy machinery a push. Let's find out more about these guys, right? So that they're like when they're in this tag team hunt, that you know about them and you want to root for them. And if you like want the B team. And if you want this to keep going, you want Shane and Miz to have the titles for two months, that's perfect to have them beat Heavy Machinery right off the bat. Right. That's It's given them a push. It's given Shane and Miz somebody to beat up to lose it to whoever when they break up for WrestleMania. Right. You're right. So Daniel comes out and he's saving the planet. Always. What would you think of the new belt? I love it. I did. Like I love this title. Hemp with wood. It's the Planet's Championship. Yeah. This is amazing. It's something different. And better. And it's it's not this you know, they didn't have to kill Daisy to make this title. Wow. That's what Daniel said. The black strap that he had the black leather strap. Was kill Daisy was the cow. Poor Daisy. It's dead. I love you, old Bessie! 
Daisy, not Bessie. Whatever. Bessie was my cow's name. Leave me alone. So, the title's great. Everybody and their brother come out. Joe comes out. Hardy comes out. Ali comes out. Orton comes out. Orton comes out. How is Mustafa Ali already in the title hunt and he just come up from 205 Live? He's lost all his matches. And got Molly Womped by Joe a hundred times. Right? So now he... So Triple H comes on to Jumbotron and says, Hey! You guys are in the Elimination Chamber and Daniel's pissed. All of you. Everybody against Daniel Bryan. Paul's favorite time. After you listen to... Garbage Tip of the Week and then you're going to listen to something. I don't know what we're listening to. What are we listening to? We're going to listen to the English Professor. Then we're going oh, to yeah, Garbage that's Tip what, of the Week. Oh yeah, that's what it is. English Professor. But you like not having PSAs anymore, don't you? You get to hear more of our voices. No, they are still PSAs. No, well, you just don't listen. I don't listen very much. Bye. It is the consensus of the can crushers that the Royal Rumble is our favorite pay-per-view. In a performance business whose entertainment value is based largely on plot twists and surprises, the Royal Rumble has the potential to deliver plenty of both. Two wrestlers start off pounding on each other, and every 90 seconds to two minutes, another wrestler runs in to join the free-for-all. Last Sunday, there were opportunities to intensify new feuds and showcase some old grudges, and the WWE did a masterful job of giving us just a taste of all the possibilities, but leaving us wanting more. As much as I enjoyed the Royal Rumble matches, my favorite match of the night was between Rowdy Ronda Rousey and the boss, Sasha Banks, for the Raw Women's Championship. Now, Mark and I have not been kind to Rousey. Paul has been less ill-hearted to the former UFC champ. But on Sunday night's version of Ronda Rousey, I saw more than a prospect with a handful of graceless moves. More than a pile of shapeless clay. I saw a molded superstar polished with the nuance of a seasoned pro. Her selling made sense. It was never one-dimensional. After returning to the ring... Following her elbow to the ring post, Rousey sold the pain, but still showed determination. She kept both hands up in self-defense, despite the suffering in her arm. But as Sasha continued to torture both of her opponent's arms, Rousey's selling went from determination to agony. Later in the match, Rousey returned to her previous state of resolve and willpower as we saw her gain her second wind. Banks and Rousey used their athleticism and psychology to tell the story of two evenly matched wrestlers at the peak of their careers, each of whom had studied the other and had planned for victory. It was a match dominated by good mat wrestling with a few suplexes, strikes, and high spots sprinkled in when the pacing called for it. The reversals by both women were timely and precise. Sasha Banks had a superplex into a Luthez press, and when Ronda threw her arm up to stop the three count, Sasha grabbed her arm and applied a Kimura. And as for those pins, neither wrestler watched the referee's arm coming down. In fact, they had their eyes closed and listened for the count, kicking out at the last second and creating greater drama. I was a big fan of Ken Shamrock when he joined the WWE in the mid to late 90s. I enjoyed how he brought some of his MMA background into the wrestling ring. But while Rousey certainly displayed her MMA skills in the ring, her biggest contribution in terms of implementing her UFC background was her hype. The pre-match jawing and posturing by both women, combined with the post-match sportsmanship of handshaking and hugging, gave this match a true big-time fight feel. Ric Flair said, there is nothing like the respect of your peers. Miss Rousey, clearly, I am not your peer. I am a crusty, crotchety old wrestling fan. But if you'll accept it, you've earned my respect. You went from wrestling fans chanting, you deserve it after getting pummeled by Charlotte Flair at the Survivor Series to showing their gratitude for delivering a match of the year candidate at the Royal Rumble. But this is just the start. We've seen what you can do. This is now what we expect from you. Welcome to the family, Rhonda. You're a wrestler now, kid. And this week's English tip concerns conjunctions. A conjunction is a word used to connect clauses or sentences or to coordinate words in the same clause. There are three types of conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, and subordinating conjunctions. But this week we'll focus on coordinating conjunctions. There are seven coordinating conjunctions, and the best way to remember what they are 
is to think of what Mark and I are. Fanboys. For and nor, but or yet so. Fanboys. An example of a word-to-word conjunction is, my favorite wrestlers are Roddy Piper and Big John Studd. And is the conjunction, and it joins two equals, Roddy Piper and Big John Studd, my favorite wrestlers, together. Let's take a look at the macho man Randy Savage before he hired Miss Elizabeth as his manager for an example of a phrase-to-phrase conjunction. I think the Macho Man will be a member of the Heenan family or of the Hart Foundation. Or is the conjunction and brings together the two phrases of the Heenan family and of the Hart Foundation. And finally, let's take a look at how a coordinating conjunction brings a compound sentence together. Bret Hart was late getting to the arena, so George Steele fined him $500. So is the conjunction and loosely ties two full sentences together. In this case, you would need a comma before so. And with that class, you're dismissed. Okay, it's time for, uh, I hope that made it in. It might make it in. Yeah, well. Swanson's Auto Body Customs, 814-389-2294. Pro Printing Office and Plus, call Dave all for all of your custom shirts, decals, everything. 814-834-3006. Collar and elbow hats, hoodies, sweats, shirts, uh, sweet ass jackets. Type in OVW at checkout, you get 10%. Paul, they're working on it, I'm just telling you. What are they working on? Uh, Mark, little, you, are you doing something? stuff? A little something. Are you doing stuff, Mark? A little something. Hey, guys, keep voting for our... Royal Rumblest Rumble winner, whatever Paul said, on Facebook. Check out our Instagram and Twitter. It's all Can Crusher 69 Um Also, I'm going to throw in a new one at you, Mark. Send us an email at cancrusher69 at gmail.com. Wow, you're just now talking go. over me. The Creative Cup Coffee Shop in Ridgeway, Pennsylvania. Uh, give them a call, 814-512-2078. Coffee. That, the coffee was fantastic. That chocolate, it had a hint of banana. It, oh, it was very good. Delicious. And it kept our big asses, our big frozen asses warm. Right. Because we were cold today. I don't well, know if that was a good... A good promotion well, for the great welcome, to your, welcome to your first promo on Can Crushers. Thank you for your help. We'll see you never. Oh, that's not nice. I'm going to go in there. Oh, that's not what I meant. I mean, they're probably done with us after oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're they're done with us. No they're more fun. coffee for these guys. <laughs> hey, check out our website. Paul likes this. Um, HTTPS colon backsplash backsplash cancrusher69.wixsite.com backsplash cancrusher. You can hear us on Boxcast, Overcast, Stitcher, Alexa, Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Buzzsprout, Tune in radio. And this week on Thursday, tomorrow night from 6 to 7. 7 to 8. 7 to 8. Why was 6 afraid of 7? Because 7 to 8, 9. Burp, 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 burp. From 7 to 8 on blog radio. Yeah, the number and everything will be attached tomorrow. Does the number change? I don't know. I didn't really check. I don't think, but still, the, the link's there that you can listen live and so on and so forth. Right, and, and you can, if you don't have wireless or wireless internet or wi-fi or something you can actually call this number and listen yeah and when she answers she's like no if you see this number i just want to listen yeah i just want to listen so it's... i don't have anything good to talk about yeah i don't like those guys but i like listening but I, but they're funny sometimes not very often yeah oh and bullhorn by the way another one we, bullhorn. we forgot, we're on bullhorn too just find us wow i mean everywhere... i have dropped the ball on writing everything down just stop it i'm done doing notes why are you done doing notes? This is the only way I survive the show if I have stuff written down in front of me. Like we exactly. still, oh. we, I still have to look back oh. and look at our right. catchphrase every week. Um, Nothing's what? going on. Nothing is going Nothing on. Nothing is going on. We're, we're taking wrestled, a week off. Yeah, we're wrestled out for a little bit, aren't we're, we? We're the beginning of February, but uh, the wife is off this weekend, and she made a point that we're not doing a damn thing. Oh, well, we got... Besides stuff. laundry, because... We have enough laundry that, you know... You, you could probably insulate the house with. Right, and I probably should. Right. I think E's probably coming home. Um, oh, so, yeah, so, garbage uh, tip, Paul. Oh, it is Bring it. Tip. Here comes the music. Wait, music.
love that song. Garbage tip of the week. Kind of fairly simple because of the blistering ass cold. Literally, if you put your ass out right now for or five minutes, you'll have blisters on your ass. It, it happens. But So are, tomorrow you're putting your ass out in the truck? Oh, no. My ass is out today on the truck because I can't find t-shirts to fit me. I'm my, like, I have a tall torso or a fat belly. Whatever one, but... Both. 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 Uh, both. But my butt crack was hanging out both. today and it was <laughs> chilly, but... My okay. under fat got cold really bad today. So I just want to thank everybody because we had multiple people yeah. reach out to us today and ask if we needed coffee. Some people just it, gave us coffee. And we said yes to all of them. Well, yeah. <laughs> we, Some people just gave us coffee. Some people didn't put their garbage out. Thank you. Which, thank you. I mean, don't do that. We get we get paid to get Yeah, no, get we'll it. get it. Well, I mean, and, we're working tomorrow, too. Yeah, we're, we got to work regardless. Put your garbage out. We thank you for being so considerate. Um, but anybody that you see out and about, your mail carriers, your firemen, because it's cold, bad shit yeah, happens. Yeah, let's hope nothing happens that Knock way. Knock on wood, wood, but if you see them guys out, offer them hot meals or a shot. hot coffee or a shot. shots. I mean, I, I know that I'm cold, but I'll drink a beer whenever. Like, I'm good with that. You Well, I'm not well we can't do it hours. from 5 to 1. Not during work hours, but other than that, yeah. Right. So, um, so take care of your local volunteers, anybody that you know that's going to be out and about, even your plow truck driver who, you as hate. you just shoveled <laughs> your driveway out, he comes roaring by and sh- plows you back in. But he has to do that. Half, half the street gets half of it. The other half gets the other half. They're just doing what they're not doing it just to spite you. They're doing it because it's their job, and the their job is to clean off the roadway, not your driveway. But offer them some food. They've been out and about for hours and hours. Ah, food sounds great, right? I, I, am eaten, I have not eaten yet. I had I had four meatballs, four buffalo chicken meatballs, which Teresa made delicious. Why don't any of this come my way? There was four of them. What the, what the hell do you think Whoa! of this? Oh! That was two of them. Oh! Remember, Paul, just because you're trash doesn't mean you can't do great things. It's called a garbage can. Not a garbage cannot. See you next week. Stay warm. Don't forget to call uh, tomorrow.